hear this. You are not alone. This is the resistance. What's up everyone? This is the Tin Man with the Resistance. If you're watching this, you are the resistance. And as you can see, I'm not wearing my traditional camo gear today. Why? Because I'm straight representing, that's why. In case you haven't figured it out, in this video we're talking about the ICP versus the FBI Juggalo issue. Now the FBI wants to label the Juggalo community as a fucking gang. Well, in that case, then you gotta freaking label the fans of every other fucking group out there. You know, KISS, they were the first ones to do makeup and their followers. You know, were their fans labeled a gang? No. Um, fucking Columbine. Those guys were fans of Marilyn Manson. So does that mean that every fucking Marilyn Manson fan is a fucking trench coat wearing gang member who's gonna go shooting up a school? No. You know, you didn't fucking start profiling trench coats. Isolated incidences. You know, it's... Exactly. It's all isolated incidences and bullshit. You know, I know there are gangs out there that support the Juggalo way of life and are fans of ICP, Twisted, Tech 9 Boondocks, and so on and so forth. But that does not make the whole Juggalo community as a whole, a fucking gang. You know, the FBI is trying to play this off as a loosely assorted hybrid gang. Seriously, what the fuck is a hybrid gang? You know, as far as I was to understand, a fucking gang had a set criteria. You know, like, a fucking skinhead couldn't go and join the Crips or the Bloods. So for the FBI to insinuate the whole hybrid gang thing, that pretty much says that anybody could be in. And that's not how gangs fucking work at all. Sounds like a club to me. Thank you! Thank you! Fuck. You know, Juggalos, what do they call themselves? A fucking family. You know, and I know gangs have that same kind of quote ideology as well, but look at the Juggalo community versus an actual gang. You know, prime example of what I'm getting at here. I mentioned before in a previous video that I went to a Dark Lotus concert some years ago. This was up in LA at the House of Blues. Juggalos everywhere you see. The entire street was filled with Juggalos. The entire <coughs> House of Blues was filled with Juggalos. And nothing, absolutely nothing popped off. In fact, the cops and the security were standing back there talking, and I overheard them say, you know, we honestly thought things were going to pop off. I, we did not expect things to go this smoothly. We were totally wrong about these people. So if they can admit that they were wrong, and unjustly profiling, where does that leave the court case? I mean, that's justification right there. If ICP wants, I'll fucking go and I'll testify to this in court. I've got several witnesses who I can bring with me who will attest to these claims. You know, the police themselves admitting that they were that they had wrongly profiled the Juggalo community. And for what? What does it come down to? Profiling the world. Activists are being labeled as quote terrorists. Juggalos are being labeled as fucking gang members. You know, even Christians and believers in, of Jesus Christ are gun owners. They're being labeled as well. Everybody's being fucking labeled. Why? Because you can't prosecute somebody without a reason. They gotta have a pretext. Just like Hitler needed a pretext to attack the Jewish community. He burned the Reichstag government building, blamed it on the Jews. Now he's got his fucking pretext. He labeled the Juggalos a gang. He labeled the activist community terrorists. You profiled the gun owners and the Christians. You've now got a pretext to rape the fields and pillage the women as it goes. Yes, I know I said that backwards. 
That was the whole joke of it. But seriously, I'm glad to see that ICP and Psychopathic Records are taking this to court. Because the people don't need to be profiled. Whether you're a juggalo, whether you're an activist, a gun owner, or a Christian, this or that, it doesn't fucking matter. Good people don't need to be profiled. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I'll probably say it a million fucking times in the future. There is good and bad, good and bad in everything. And yes, there are some people who represent the juggalo way of life who are, in fact, gang members. Okay? It's just a natural way of life. There's good and bad in everything. But that does not make the entire community at large gang members. Any more than a few dozen illegal immigrants coming across the borders classify the entire Mexican community as illegals or the entire African community as potential gang members or the entire white community as fucking KKK. Seriously, fucking think about it. It's fucking profiling and it's bullshit and it's wrong and it's not going to stand. And saying Clown Posse, Psychopathic Records, I don't know that much about you guys in real life as far as, you know, your beliefs and all that, but I strongly support you in what you're doing and fighting for the rights for others. Mad props on that. And everybody, keep fighting for what's right. Keep fighting for your rights. Because if we don't, we're all going to be labeled as something and we're all going to wind up fucked in the end. Because it's not about race versus race or this versus that. It's about the 1% versus the 99%. And we can't allow the 1% to win. No way, no how. They're already losing. Let's fucking finish the fight. This is the Tin Man with the Resistance. Whether you're a juggalo, a Christian, a gun owner, or whatever, if you're watching this, you are the Resistance. Peace out.